Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to move a Final Cut Pro library to an external drive. By the end of this tutorial, we'll have you singing, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move the library. I'm gonna share with you how to relocate your library, whether your media is stored within it or in separate folders. And then we're gonna take a look at consolidating your media and archiving your library. Let's check that out. So we're here in Final Cut Pro and we're taking a look at moving our library to an external drive. So there's a couple different ways we can do that. Now let's say your library is set up like this one, where if we clicked on the library and opened the inspector, you'll find that the media is stored on one of the hard drives instead of in the library. So since that's the case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull those options in. All right, so our library is currently stored in this folder and I organize these by music, sound effects, videos. So all those will appear here. So you can see by the small library size that this doesn't include everything inside of it. So to move this, all we wanna do is right click, copy, or hit Command C, and then we can find our external drive, and we can paste it here with Control V, or we can right click, paste item, or we can just do a drag and drop. Now this is a very small library, so that was very quick, um, but yours might be much larger, and it might take all night to transfer. So just keep that in mind before you do something like this. Now that's not the only way that we can accomplish that same task. Uh, something you may wanna do is you may wanna have just the one library file. If that's the case, then what we're gonna do is gonna select the library, make sure we have the inspector window open, and here we're gonna look at modifying the storage settings. We're gonna choose to store the media in the library rather than on our hard drive. And uh, the rest of this works. This one we wanna choose as in library as well. So what this is gonna do, it's going to consolidate everything to the actual Final Cut Pro library. So let's press okay, and then click consolidate. We don't have any of those yet. And now it's gonna start some processes of copying those files into the library. All right, looking back at our library, uh, we can see that in this folder, we still have all of our music, sound effects, and video. So you'll see that the library is now a much larger file size. That means we have consolidated everything into that library. So if you don't plan to continue editing in this library, I would recommend going to File and delete the generated project files. Just come in here, select all these, delete, and then close this timeline. Then we can go back to relocating it. So we'll just do a click and drag and that has been moved over. And now what we can do is completely delete all of this. And that is all in the trash. And we have successfully moved the library. You can see here by that file size, it contains all that it needs in order to continue to function as a library. Don't forget to let your internal hard drive know that it was nothing personal. And we release new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release a new video. Uh, so let's say you have one specific final project that you want to archive away, but you don't wanna bother with all the rest of the stuff. What we're gonna do is go through the process of archiving. So we're gonna go up to File, New, Library, and we'll go ahead and name this Archive Project. All right, and then we'll go back to the original library drag and drop that final version that we wanna move into the archive. And then we're gonna copy this project and we have some options we can select. We can either choose to include the media, do the project without the media, whether or not we want the original media, optimized, proxy, or whether we wanna copy the media that's stored in external locations. So in a way, that option right here, this little checkbox could have saved us a little bit of time earlier if this is the process we wanted to go through. But yeah, we'll go ahead and copy it just like this with the media, original media, and copy media stored in external locations. That way this becomes its own library and we can archive this on the external drive. So press okay. It did its process there. Background tasks are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out these projects here. All right, and you can see the archive project is now ready to go right here. 
So you see that this library is a smaller file size than the original library's file size. And that's because we selected only one project out of that whole library. It was still using a lot of the media. In a real world scenario, you would see a much larger file size in that library. When you bring it down to just the clips that were used in that one project file, it's gonna be a much smaller library to archive. So we'll just drag and drop this into our external drive. And with that, we have archived our project and we can delete the rest of this. And with that, we've moved our library to an external drive. We've also archived our library to an external drive. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Consider picking up an external SSD to speed up those file transfers. And now that you've learned how to move a Final Cut Pro library to an external drive, I've made another video about how to do motion tracking in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.